Hi everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and today I want to show you how to make my delicious sweet potato, red lentil and quinoa loaf. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious sweet potato, red lentil and quinoa loaf. Now this recipe is really easy to do and it contains some really healthy ingredients that are also super tasty as well. So the reason I thought of this recipe was simply because I'd made red lentil and oat pancakes for my breakfast one morning and they were so good that I decided to try red lentils in a quinoa loaf and I thought I'd throw in some sweet potato as well. The results were amazing and I've written this blog post already so the blog post is in the description box below for you um, and I'm going to make it again today. I'm going to be having this with eggs for my breakfast tomorrow morning so while I was making it I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious sweet potato, red lentil and quinoa loaf. So I've put a small saucepan of water onto a high heat on the hob and I'm just bringing it to the boil. I'm just going to turn the heat down a little bit so it doesn't overboil. And then in here I have um, peeled and chopped one sweet potato. So I've chopped it into about two centimetre pieces and I've got about 200 grams there and I'm just going to put the lid on top of the colander um, and I'm going to leave this to simmer now for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the sweet potato goes soft. I'm going to preheat my oven now to 200 degrees. While my potatoes are cooking and my oven is preheating I am going to prepare my baking tray or my loaf tin so basically I've got some oil here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to oil the base of this tin and I'm going to spread the oil all around the base and up the sides as well. And I've cut two pieces of grease proof paper. So I've cut one width ways and one length ways. So I'm going to put the width ways one in first. So I'm just going to put that into the base like so. And then I'm going to put a bit more oil onto that. And I'm just going to spread that around so that it's easy. When it comes to taking out the king while loaf, it's really easy. Um, it will just slide off the greaseproof paper basically. And then I'm going to put one lengthways as well, like so. I'm going to pour the oil in again on top of this piece now and I'm going to spread it around until everything is covered in the oil so I'm going to spread it up the sides and on the base again and then I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to go and deal with my sweet potato now so my sweet potato I think is cooked it's falling off the fork so that is definitely cooked and I'm going to just Take this off the heat and leave it to cool now. While my sweet potato is cooling down, I'm going to deal with my dry ingredients now. And in this bowl here, I have my quinoa, my lentils and some flaxseed as well. And what I've done is I've ground this in my blender. So I put 200 grams of quinoa into my blender. I also put 200 grams of red lentils and I also put 80 grams of flaxseed and I ground them up until they formed a flour like so and now I'm just going to add everything else to these ingredients as well so I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt like so and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking powder to this so I'm just going to add a teaspoon of baking powder and I'm also going to add two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda and later on in this video you'll notice that I'm going to add vinegar as well and this is to help it to rise because I'm not actually using an egg in this video I'm only using vinegar and um, tahini to make it like an egg consistency and then to make it rise I'm going to use the vinegar and the bicarbonate of soda and that will help it to rise it kind of fizzles when they get together and it makes the loaf really lovely and soft as well that's my front doorbell so I won't be a minute then I've got some ground cumin so I've got one teaspoon of ground cumin in 
and I've got one teaspoon of cinnamon as well and I'm going to mix these ingredients together so I'm going to mix all of these ingredients together now and then I'm going to deal with my wet ingredients next now I'm going to deal with my wet ingredients and um, as you can see here my food processor is a little bit dirty it's dirty from earlier this has the remnants of the flour that I made in it so this has the quinoa red lentils and flaxseed remnants in so I thought that I would just put everything into the blender because it doesn't matter it's going to go into the dry ingredients soon anyway so I've got here about 800 mils of oat milk you don't have to use oat milk if you don't want to you can use any kind of milk you like and then I'm going to put in my potatoes so I've got 200 grams of steamed potatoes that I showed you earlier so I'm just going to put that in and then I'm going to put in uh, two tablespoons of tahini and I have a new jar of tahini here so I'm just going to mix the oil around a little bit. I'm going to put in as I said two tablespoons of tahini and this is going to act as my egg. If you wanted to use egg then you can do but I would leave out the vinegar and the bicarbonate of soda because the egg will help, hopefully help it to rise. Um, I'm just using this because I wanted to make it a vegan loaf. Um, I do enjoy vegan food occasionally and tahini acts as a really great substitute for egg as well. So that's why I like to use it. And then I'm going to put in two tablespoons of maple syrup. You could use honey if you're not making this vegan or you could use any kind of sweetener you like. So I'm just going to put in a couple of tablespoons and this is optional as well with the sweet potato. This is um, quite a sweet loaf anyway so it doesn't really matter if you do or you don't add sweetener to be honest with you. Um, I just really like it. I've got a bit of an addictive sweet tooth like many people I'm sure. And then I'm going to add in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar as well. So I'm just going to add that in. And I am going to put the lid on and I'm going to blend all of these ingredients together. So I've blended all of these ingredients until they are smooth. So basically they look like a smoothie. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the wet ingredients on top of the dry ones and mix everything together. And don't worry about the red lentils soaking them or anything because red lentils actually cook really quickly so you don't actually need to soak them they're a great lentil they're a really good lentil they're really quick cooking and they are really nutritious as well they're great for the stomach so yeah you don't really need to soak the lentils at all really so i'm just going to add all of this to my mixture, that's still quite heavy. So I'm going to add a bit more of that. I'm going to mix all of these ingredients together now. So that's everything mixed together, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mixture into my pre lined tin and I'm going to put this into the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, I'd say, or just until the top goes a lovely golden brown colour. So that's it in the tin and I'm off to pop this in the oven now. So my sweet potato, red lentil and quinoa loaf is cooked. I've put the skewer in a few times and it's coming out clean. So I'm going to take this out of the oven now and I'm going to leave it to cool. So I've taken the loaf out of the loaf tin and I've left it on this cooling rack to cool. It still is a little bit warm but I'm going to slice it now and um, I'm going to keep a couple of slices for tomorrow morning and then I am going to put the rest into the freezer so this is freezeable as well if you were wondering you can freeze it so I don't know it is a little bit doughy I think I put a little bit too much liquid in there but it does smell gorgeous and because there's no egg in it I'm not too worried so that is the inside of the cake, uh, the cake, the loaf. Um, and as I said, I'm just going to slice this now. And I'm going to put this into the freezer. I'm going to leave a couple of slices for tomorrow. 
and I'm going to have this with eggs in the morning and I have to say it is absolutely delicious with eggs I cannot recommend it enough but you could have this on its own if you wanted to you could have this for lunch with avocado as well or a salad maybe or if you're if you've got a gluten intolerance like me then you can just have it as a sandwich or just put it under the grill and toast it it's delicious lots of different ways and uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to this for my breakfast tomorrow so that's how you make my delicious sweet potato red lentil and quinoa loaf and that recipe as I mentioned earlier I will link in the description box below for you so for now that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.